hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is evidence and in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a 3d graph using plotly express so first thing is first let's import plotly dot express as px so this tutorial assumes you already have plotly installed on your anaconda environment if you're using anaconda like me or you already have it installed on your local computer and if you don't know how to install plotly on your local computer for local development just check out the video that i created showing you how to install plotly so assuming you have plotly installed let's proceed with the tutorial so in from plotly import plotly express as px and then we are going to import pandas as pd and the reason for importing pandas is just so we can read the data that we are going to plot and i, I did two commands right here so control enter or command enter actually runs the cell and shift enter runs the cell and creates a new cell below it so let's create let's read our csv file and the csv file is this right here is located inside the same folder that i'm that this python notebook is located in so it makes it a little bit easier to read it and it's located in the folder data and right there it is yes alcohol consumption is actually the name of the data and let's go ahead and run this it can do shift enter and it runs it and just to verify that we have run the data correctly just do dot head and get a quick view of it and yes we have loaded the data correctly so now to create a 3d graph using plotly express you just do px dot scatter 3d in parentheses you type in the first thing that comes up is where the data frame is located so when you do parentheses here in visual studio code ipython notebook it gives you this so you can kind of see what the different parameters are so the first parameter is the data frame, then you have the x value, the y value, and then the z value. So let's get started. So the data frame we're using is alcohol, like we defined earlier here. And then you do x equal to let's just year, let's just use year as our x value. And then the next thing is our y value. And let's use beer as a y value and for z let's use all beverages and that's basically the basics of how you create a 3d graph and let's go ahead and do shift enter and let this run as you can see the 3d graph has been created so ooh, that looks so cool that looks like a snake or something damn <laughs> i was i didn't try this beforehand so i didn't know what it was going to look like but that looks so dope yes yes <laughs> anyway um so you can of course you can zoom in to look at individual data points you can click on this to reset zoom you can do um this type of rotation you can choose a different type of rotation you can pan, you can zoom in to this or to anything really that you want and just click on this um, to reset it again. So let's do color equal to, let's do something like red and see what happens. Ooh, red is not a color. So the value of color 
it has to be the name of a column in our data frame. So let's give it um, beer. Why not? Wow, that looks so dope. That looks dope. Now let's give it a different color, like let's say year. Looks kind of similar, but a little bit different. The color is about the same. Nothing much has changed. Now let's now, as you can see, um, spirits is spirits and wine is not in this graph. But let's give it the color of a of a column that's not in the graph, and let's see how it reacts. Similar, similar graph and um, similar color, nothing um different. And even though, as you can see here, because we gave it the color of spirit, even though spirit itself is not in the three D graph it is it is represented when you hover over it and of course you can play with this and add um, different features to it you could add a title to it let's call this 3d graph tutorial as you can see the title shows up right there And this is absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, that's how you create a 3D graph using Plotly Express. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'll talk to you guys again in the future. Bye.